Hey, this is Jesse in the workshop, and I just want to make a video about the new upgrade I got for the CNC. This is a spindle upgrade and an automatic tool changer. Check it out. Okay, so pretty cool that we got uh, the automatic tool changer because that's going to help us uh, just run so much more consistent with the pyro boxes and we're not going to have to touch off the tool and it will eliminate a whole bunch of mistakes. And also the spindle is a lot more powerful than the other one, more than double the power. But basically what we have here is this is a pneumatic box, this feeds all the air for this dust shoe and also for the spindle. Um, there's an air seal that uh, picks up the tool and keeps it locked in here. This is for the spindle. This is new too. Upgraded uh, power box. This uh, just takes all the regular 220 and then it turns it into something that the spindle can use very evenly and consistently. And you set all your RPMs and uh, uh, all your power settings in there. So gotta get all this stuff set up. Gotta move it under the cart, get everything uh, geared up. I have uh, collets for this thing, but the thing I'm missing is a spanner wrench to actually tighten everything down. So don't think I can run it until I get that ordered, but uh, we can hopefully get it all set up. Today. Okay, well, I got it all set up. All the wiring is all semi-good. This is still kind of a little bit of a disaster down here. I did a tool change already. I'll show you guys uh, at the end of this video. The setup's all working. The thing that I do need that's changing is a compressor. Right now I'm just using this one, um, which is like, I don't know, 25, 30 gallon, which is fine, but the hose is leaking just a little bit and so, that's going to be annoying, uh, so I'll probably get a dedicated compressor for it and a uh, better air hose. So again, this uh, CNC is made by DBCNC, so I just got this in uh, above Albany, it's in Glens Falls. I'll just show you real quick the software that I use. Um, first thing we do is turn this on here. We can turn on the power for the spindle as well as the air. Actually, we'll turn that off just because it's a little bit loud with the fan up there. Um, so we open up this S3 CNC software that we use and uh, I'll t show you real quick how we do a tool change. We hit enable and then we want to make sure that we're off of home. So right now these are switches that tell the machine when it's on home. So we want to move, this one's far away but eventually it will hit this thing right there. Tell the machine that it's all the way home so that the computer knows where the machine is. So we're gonna move this off of home. Okay, now we're gonna sue home all and the machine's gonna just automatically click in and home itself. Okay, so now that it's home, notice that the tool number right here is tool zero. And that's a problem because every time you turn on this uh, program, it thinks it doesn't have any tool unless you tell it what tool it has. So we just look over here, we see that we have tool number one in there. So we're gonna put tool number one right there. The machine knows it's got tool number one. We're gonna hook up the air here and we're gonna do a tool change. So we're gonna turn this on.
Well, how cool is that? Ready to make some more puzzle boxes, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later.